Hi, I'm Mahesh. Let's meet Stacy, the owner of the V60. Hi, everyone. Today, we'll take a detailed look at the car, find out Stacy's top three likes and dislikes, and discover if she recommends you buy, consider, or skip this car. Let's go for a spin. Wagons are becoming less popular as they lose market share to crossovers. So let's find out why Stacy decided to pick this car. So at the time I purchased the car, I was pregnant with my second child. And so I really wanted a car that was going to be practical for two kids and have a lot of trunk space for, you know, double stroller and groceries and everything else. Um, I also was looking at the VW Jetta um, and, and was interested in the, the Jetta wagon. Uh, but ultimately, I got a better deal on the Volvo over the Jetta. Volvos and wagons go hand in hand. Going back to the 50s and the Duet, there have been multiple generations of Volvo wagons. This V60 was introduced in 2011 and was given a refresh in 2014. So let's take a detailed look at the car. The V60 is a stylish wagon. A single character line starts at the front and flows to the rear. As it heads towards the rear, it widens out, creating a strong shoulder and the iconic vertical Volvo tail lights. The front grille is pushed forward, creating an aggressive stance. All in all, a really nice clean European design. Volvo developed the Drive E engines as a way to make more economical engines. The T5 is actually a four-cylinder turbocharged engine producing 240 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. It delivers an impressive 36 miles per gallon on the highway. The T5 also comes in all-wheel drive with a different engine. The T6 is the top performing engine choice. Volvo and safety go hand in hand. City safety comes standard. Other features available include adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning and aid, active high beam, distance alert, driver alert control, road sign information, keyless entry and drive, folding exterior mirrors, and a disappointingly small and low quality rear view camera. The dated interior is the weakest link for this car. The waterfall display has been around since the mid-2000s. The single dial instrument cluster, small screen, and awkward placement of the vents add to the disappointment. Nice are the comfortable leather-covered seats. All in all, it's a great car except for the dated interior. Let's find out Stacy's top three likes and dislikes. So um, I love the trunk space. I mean, the trunk is amazing. I can fit my double stroller. I can fit my groceries. Um, I've never had a situation where actually I didn't have enough space in my trunk, which is pretty amazing. So I love the safety features of the vehicle. Um, it actually has a function where the car brakes for you um, if you're too close to another car. Um, and I did have an occasion where, um, you know, the car, uh, stopped for me and it actually prevented me from rear-ending someone. So I'm pretty you know, grateful for that, for that feature. So it, it, the car drives um, very, very smooth. It's fast. Um, I, I love driving the car and it's great because for a mom car, it's also fun to drive and that was important to me in looking for a car. So the car looks great in black, which is why I selected the black color, but it's just not a practical color for a car. And I learned that the hard way. I'd never had a black car before. It shows all the dirt um, and I don't get it washed all the time because I'm a busy mom. So um, I wouldn't recommend you know, getting it in black unless you're really gonna um, keep it up and get it washed frequently. So I love using keyless entry. I mean, it's one of the reasons I purchased the car. Um, so I don't have to you know, dig the car keys out of my purse. Um, but one of the issues with that is the mirrors stay folded when I use the keyless entry. I actually have to click the key for the mirrors to pop out. Um, so that's, you know, I don't enjoy that aspect of the car. Um, so I, I had 
been driving a crossover before I purchased this car and I was used to being a little higher up and you know just being a mom having car seats it's a little easier to get your kids in and out of a car when the car is a little higher up so you know now I have to bend down to get the, car, the kids in the car seat um, so being a little bit lower to the ground is um, an aspect that I don't enjoy about the car. Isn't it great those safety systems work and I gotta agree with Stacy that black color is pretty hard to keep clean. My favorite for this car is Power Blue. Now before we get to Stacy's recommendation, here are a few highlights from the rest of our chat and a little bit about this show. We don't pay the drivers on the show for their opinions. Instead, to thank them, we make a donation to a nonprofit charity of their choice. You can thank them by clicking on the like button below. If you'd like to be on the show, please reach out. And now on to Stacy's recommendation. Let's find out if she recommends you buy, consider, or skip this car. I would recommend buying the car. It's, a, it's really a great car overall. I've been very happy with it. So there you have Stacy's recommendation. We'd love to hear from other V60 owners. Let us know your likes, dislikes, and recommendation in the comments below. Subscribe and see you soon.